everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Chris. And I'm Christy. And it's the Chris and Christy channel. Uh, today we have got a review for you guys. Sorry. A little bit of camera difficulty here. Sorry. Okay. There we are. Okay, um, today we got a, a shotgun review for you. Uh, yesterday we had the... Hatfield 12 gauge SAS semi-auto shotgun uh, review. Today is the Hatfield um, 12 gauge PAS pump shotgun 12 gauge. Uh, this is the same as the semi-auto with one exception is that it has a pump on it instead of it being a, se a semi-automatic action. So, a little bit of a review on this gun. It is chambered for three for three inch shells, uh, 12, 12 gauge. It is not made in the U.S. of A. It is made in Istanbul, Tur uh, Turkey. And a rough overview of the gun. Uh, it is a 28 inch barrel with a bead sight, fiber optic bead sight. Um, it is a four. Four, four plus one, which means it holds four in the tube, and, um, well, four in the magazine, one in the tube. Uh, a little bit on the functionality of this gun. This here down here is the sa it has a safety. It has a push button safety for a safe on and off. And for the... Uh, slide release is right here. This button. Hold it down. And you can pump it down. Back up. It's very smooth. Uh, whoever designed this gun did a pretty decent job of it. Um, like I said, slide release. It's pretty easy to do. And we're going to make sure it's empty first. Okay. Nothing in it. Test fire. It's on safe. So push in. Safety's off. And you should be able to rack, rack it again. It's pretty easy. Um, and how you load it, we're going to go over that too as well. Is we got five birdshot shells. And how you load it is right underneath here. It's really simple. You push down the load gate. One shell. Well, it's kind of similar to the other one except Two. you have to like rack it instead. Yeah. Three. The same brand and everything. Four. Just different design. And then when you load the fifth one in you have to push that button and you have to rack it down so you can, you know, load your fish shell in if you want to and it's ready to go. But we're not going to load the fifth one in. We're just showing you how to load, unload, and such. Now, if you want to empty it out, you're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. You're going to have to load the shells in. Load, well, load, unload, unload, that's two, three, four, and there's one more in there, so, up, and that's it. And that's some debris come out of it. And it's fun. And that's how you do it. Now, if you ever have to clean it for any reason, this gun's very simple to take apart. Very easy. Um, I will tell you if you want to take it apart easy, it starts with this right here. The barrel knot. Just 
unscrew that. Now, this does come with a, just like the semi-auto version, it comes with a dang bird um, hunting plug in it. So you want to take that out if you're, if you're going to be using this for self, like home defense or target shooting or whatnot. You don't need the bird plug in it. Yeah, or else it'll only hold two bullets at a time. Yeah. Just like the mistake of the last video of the reason why we got them is because someone... Yeah, thought, someone literally thought that these guns only held two rounds and that's why they were, yeah. sell, were selling them. Uh, when the guy was like, uh, just F FYI, they, they only shoot two two rounds, that's it. You know, you, you, you can't put no more in that. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And, you know, I, I just went ahead and bought them. I mean, he's selling them. Why not take advantage of it? And when you do that, if you have to clean this for any reason, you're going to first want to rack the slide down. And you're going to be able to take the... If you raise it back up again, you can take the barrel off. Okay? To clean it. And do anything else you need to do with the gun. Uh, once you have the barrel off, this will come off easy. I mean, the whole inter internals of the shot shotgun will come out. The bolt carrier, the slide, everything will come out completely. Like, you can take the whole gun apart from taking the barrel nut off. So, be very careful in that aspect. Like, have it secured where you don't lift up on it and then all of your internals come out and you have to figure out how to put it back in. It's not that difficult to do. But, you know, just in case you want to save yourself the time. Uh, the workmanship looks like the materials they used are pretty decent. You know, it's pretty light for a barrel. Yeah. It's definitely a lot lo lighter than, say, a Mossberg barrel because it's a little bit heavier. Whatever they used with this is a very light material, a light alloy, it seems they it used. It smells like a gun. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean... It smells like gunpowder just different alloys that they use and just put it back in lock it in place slide down there you go it's nice and secure again take the barrel nut and tighten it back up perfect and Voila, it's ready to go. See? Works like a charm. And it's so light, even she can ha can handle it, you can mm -hmm. see. Oh. It's not as heavy as the semi-auto. It's a little oh, bit yeah. lighter. It's a little bit lighter than the um than the other gun that we previously showed in the last video. Um it's a little bit lighter and it's like less stocky and stuff. And the wood is a little, a little bit light, like lighter as well. Um, just like the other one, um, you'd probably have to trim the barrel down maybe to make it like less awkward. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I, I've seen reviews of the gun as well where people have shot it, which we're going to be doing also since it's getting to be spring su and summertime. We're going to be doing some shooting videos and showing how, how, how they function in the field. Uh, also with this gun, it comes with accessories, just like the other one. It comes with extra chokes. Comes with three chokes and a choke tool, which it's got a choke inside of it now. This isn't made from Instable, it's turkey. Yeah, that's the cat, the capital of turkey. It, it's just done uh, cool. Never mind. Still. But it comes with this and this. You know, this is a, a puller if it gets stuck in there. You just shove that down the barrel, and you can pull it out. But yeah, each one comes with a choke kit, so you don't have to go out and buy chokes for it. Chokes? Yeah, it's what oh, squeezes the uh, birdshot or, bu or buckshot pattern. Each one's different. Each choke is, di is different. It like sque it squeezes the, the pattern of the pellets. To come. When you shoot a shot a shotgun, it's got little pellets in it. It's got like uh, eight pellets. It's got n number eight on oh, it. Oh, these guns have been shot before you got soot on your hands. <laughs> no. 
It's just from the, like, the gun itself, the coloring. Oh, I think I got a little bit on my hand, too. It's the bluing. It's the paint they use. Oh. I think I got a little bit on my hands now. But, yeah, I mean... That's okay. Um, you can fire whatever type of rounds you want. You can fire birdshot, or you can fire my personal favorite, double aunt buckshot. This is the best of firing shotguns. I love these things, but they're expensive. Double aunt buckshot is like $2.50 a round almost now. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not talking very much. I'm just looking at the gun for the first time I like, came in contact so close to it. <laughs> Haven't been this close to, the, to this gun yet. I haven't really, like, really looked at it too much. But it is today. light. Yeah. I mean, whoever designed this did a pretty dang good it's job. It's a, it's a less heavier than the other one. The other one that, yeah, it is. It's a lot lighter. And let's see if I can, like, pull it back. To rack the slide, you have to push that button first, and then you have to rack it. Okay. Which so one? you have to push this button in the slide release. You have to push that in, and then slide it down. Have to push it in first? Mm -hmm. And then right. slide it down. And then slide it back up. Okay, okay. Let's see if I can do it again. The easiest way to see yep, if you can it's do easy it for, for sure. Me, it's easy for me to do. I easiest can easily way do it. to do it is when you have it, have it like this. Have it like this to where you can slide the leaf. You want to make sure you can do it from a shoulder position. Because when you shoot it, like, it's emptied. Mm -hmm. So if you shoot it, safety off. Shoot. And now you can... Next shot, you just keep on going. Okay. So just see if you can shoot it from a shoulder position. Well, you're right-handed, so it should probably go on that side. Okay. Well, then I'm going to be pointing it at you, though. No, no. Like, hold it like that. Okay. I put it up against your shoulder. Okay. Okay. If I can okay. See. Now. I'll okay. push the side release for you. Okay. Okay. Now see if you can rack it. Yeah, I need to see if I can, okay. I can do it. Now rack it back. Okay. From and this now, position, it is kind of awkward for me to... Ugh, it's like... <laughs> I can't even reach the thing. Okay, well, on. at least you can rack it. Okay, well, I can rack it, but I can't do it from that position. I definitely recommend making it less awkward. Probably with this gun, I'm, pro I'm probably going to chop it down to a 18.2 inch barrel. Um, and I might see if they make any um, folding kits for this. I might try to see if it has a, a folding kit. To where you can... Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, I do notice one thing. Oh, never mind. It does have that shock observer. I'd like to know how you get that out of there, though. I don't think you can. You know what? This shotgun might, might not be able to be... Altered. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, you can alter the barrel. But I don't think you can alter this. So that's a, a point to you. I think that's nailed in there. There's no screws. So I don't think it's as simple as taking a big long screw out. Mm -hmm. And taking the stock off and putting a I new one on. Like that. So I don't think it's that simple. With these. So that's a, a con. I mean it's easy to do the barrel. I mean, you can do that with a chop saw. Or a hacksaw even if you're that poor. Um, but I mean it's perfect for me to hold. But I definitely want to lower the barrel length to about 18. Um, I do like it. I mean it's a nice feel to it. Um, the price on those, uh, shoot, I'm going to check on it for you guys. What, the price for this gun? Yeah. Mm 
I mean, I, I wouldn't use this gun personally just because it's so bulky and awkward for me. Chris could use this easily, but I have T-Rex arms, so <laughs> I'm just... It's just not the right gun for me, but I but I can, like, slide it back. You know, let, let's know if you've ever used this gun before, the uh, Hatfield. You know, ju judging from that name, you know, like the Hatfield and the McCoys, you know, you would think that this would be a American gun made, but it's made in a foreign country. That's what's very strange about it, why, why they would ch uh, choose that name. Although, their home office is in Illinois. But the guns are made in Istanbul, Turkey. Maybe that's because they can get it made in a foreign country, cheap labor, so they can kind of keep the, make an economical gun for the everyday working man. You know, uh, you can actually get, the semi-autos are now going for like 350 uh, for these, they normally were like $210, but I'm going to check and see how much they're going for now. It's a good gun, but you're going to have to do some real maintenance to it. Like, you have to clean it, like, after every use, and you also got to polish the wood with, a, like, a special wax and stuff. So... It's a good quality gun, but the maintenance is kind of bad. You yeah. have to wax it and stuff since it's wood and keep it out of the rain. I mean, if it's a, I know it's available. You can, act, can actually change the stock and the the pump on it. If you go to their oh. uh, website, Hatfield's uh, website. You can buy a black synthetic pump and black synthetic sh uh, stock if you want to change that look to it. I think if you did that and you chopped the barrel down, you could make the gun look more, you know, tactical make or tactical. Yeah, you can make it look more tactical, is what they call it. Tactical. I didn't know. I didn't even know that was a word. Well, I mean, the gun community it is. Other people don't really. But... Ooh, putting the bullets should be a little bit easy. The thing just goes down. Yeah. Yeah, I was showing people how to load and unload it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to look up and see how much this goes for. Currently. Hatfield. PAS. The other one is the SAS. 12 gauge. So this is the PAS. I'm guessing PAS stands for Pump Action Shotgun, and SAS stands for Semi-Auto Shotgun. Semi-Auto Pump Action. I'm, yeah, I'm pump thinking action. that might be it, so don't hold me to it. Yeah. So let's see how much this is going for. I think you got another Pump Action, don't you? Yeah, I've got a lot of shotguns. I've got like... Probably all together. Like seven shotguns. Oh, shotguns now. I've got like seven. And then the new ones, of course. Okay, let's see how much these go for. If you can find them in stock, with guns being what they are. Cause I mean it's it's getting pretty pathetic, like just guns in general right now. Yeah, it looks like Bud's Gun Shop had them, but it's out of stock. Which I mean that's not surprising, considering the fact that they sold for a hundred and seventy dollars to two hundred dollars. Let's check Vance Outdoors and see if they have any. Out of stock, two hundred dollars. So let's check guns.com. It says it's a twelve gauge three inch chamber. If guns.com don't have them then 
That's about the only website I know of that has guns. And I looked up the semi-auto version of this, of this same gun. And it's going for like 350 uh, so let's see what this is. Hatfield. I'd say this thing would probably go about 400 maybe. I don't know. 350. P.A.S. 350 to 300. See all results. And yeah, they, they've just got one for sale. And it's a, a semi-auto version. And it's selling for like 350. I don't think they can see... If you can see that. There. Yeah, so I would guess How many the pump version, sell? maybe 275 to 300. So I got a really good deal on these. I got both of them for 400 bucks. Mm -hmm. Brand new, still had the box. Never been fired. So I got these at a really, really good price. That's why I jumped on them. Yep, and if you see a good price on a gun, jump on it. Yeah. Those people would buy it up. Because this, this, especially the ones that don't know much about guns, don't know the situation, don't know what they're going for, and don't know what you can get out of them. I know that sounds bad, but... That's why it's important this is an investment. So that's why it's always important to know about your guns. Do research on them. Know what they're capable of. You know, mm -hmm. with the invention of you of YouTube, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do research on anything. Because YouTube is like a, pl a plethora of information mm -hmm. on everything from guns to cars to putting desks together. To video games, to, you know, history. I mean, it's endless so, what you can do. Or simple things, you know. Yeah. How to crochet, how to sew, how to... Yeah. Anything. Uh, YouTube, YouTube's just a big... Yeah, it's a big platform. Big platform. Well, we hope you enjoy this uh, gun review. Um, if you have any questions... Please co uh, comment. Like and share. Yeah, like, share, subscribe. Always love it when you subscribe. We always love it when you comment, too. Make sure you comment. Just and here soon, soon in the next couple months, you should be seeing some, uh, what do they call it, Com uh, ads and commercials. So we're kind of happy about that, that we've finally gotten to a place where, you know, we can become one of the YouTube family and get a partnership. So, sorry, my phone was going off. Um, but yeah, yeah, let us know what you think. If you've ever shot the gun before, uh, really let us know. We're thankful that our YouTube's gone this far. Um, we didn't yeah. think we'd make it this far. I'm really happy. I'm really happy that it's becoming like for us and we can yeah we put a lot of time and yeah. effort into these videos and we always plan you know plan what we're gonna do what we're gonna say and stuff and we're just glad that you guys are part of it yep. so and it's all paying off you know because we work really hard on the channel but so, yeah we hope you guys have a, a wonderful night, a wonderful day, uh, wherever you're at, whatever part of the planet you're on. Stay free, stay safe, stay armed. Even our brothers and sisters in communist countries, who we know you've been watching also, hang in there. You know, might not be legal for you guys to have guns, but try to, people. Well, bye. God bless you all. God bless America.